Fred Ricciani for the Sports Corps. You're at the Action Martial Arts Hall of Fame weekend at the Tropicana with UFC Hall of Famer Mark Coleman. Sir, what brings you here today? Uh, well, just a, a last minute um, notice. Uh, I'm here with Dr. Frank Patino, who's uh, he wrote a book on uh, living a clean life, and, and I'm helping him promote his book and, and uh, here promote myself. I got to meet so many fantastic people. It just uh, I think I'll be back next year. This is just a great event. It is, and I've seen Patino diet popping up everywhere lately. Yes. What are the benefits of it? I'd imagine it's definitely changed your life for the better. Well, just uh, it, it, it's all about the glycemic index and, uh, and learning about what what foods are good and what foods aren't good. It, 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 a lot of it's common sense, but you got to read it to, to knowledge. And um, you know, sometimes them labels will fool you, so you got to know what you're reading and. Um, Eat, eating the right kind of carbs. Everybody's big on carbs, but you got to, you know, the wrong carbs aren't going to do you very well. So, uh, clean diet and, and yeah, he's helped me drastically, my sponsor, and, and, you know, kept me in shape for a while. Now, this weekend is celebrating martial arts. One of the martial arts we're celebrating, of course, is mixed martial arts, which you made your name in. You were recently at the UFC 20th anniversary show. Looking back at your illustrious career and seeing how the UFC has grown, I mean, what are your overall thoughts on? Where do you see us gone to and where they're going in the future? Well, I always felt from day one, and to me personally, uh, when I saw UFC 1, I was mesmerized and amazed, and, and I personally felt like it could be the biggest thing ever if people did it right, which uh, they have. Dana White, uh, the man works night and day. The Fertilla brothers, uh, they thankfully they're on board because we need them, and and they're going to, I anticipate them taking this where Dana says. They're going to be the number one sport in the world, and, and I think it'll be there. I don't mean to put you on the spot, but since you were there live, who would you have the main event for, GSP or Johnny Hendricks? Well, tough call. I'm, I'm, I've known GSP for a long time, but uh, I know Johnny Hendricks, and uh, I am a wrestler by trade, but I respect GSP because that's, I think that's what made him so good. Uh, he did learn how to wrestle, and he became a very, very good wrestler, and and uh, that, that's where he ran into a little bit of trouble with Johnny Hendricks because he's a great wrestler as well. Just an amazing fight. And, of course, everybody wants to see a rematch. But if GF, GSP never fights again, I, I don't blame him. And, and he'd, be one, he'd be one of the first guys to step out when, right when it was time. Definitely leading by example like he always does. Now, sir, you certainly led by example throughout your career. Are you officially retired from MMA or are you leaving that door open for one more fight? I, I don't know if I'll ever re officially retire. I, I sort of did, but because I had I had hip replacement about a year ago, and I thought that was going to wipe me out. But uh, actually, uh, the new hip feels a heck of a lot better than the old one did. So, yeah, the door's open. I just got a lot of work to do. I don't think I want to fight a John Jones or anything like that. But uh, if, if I get the right opponent, the right offer, or maybe overseas, maybe somewhere, you know, I, I stepped in that cage last night. Uh, as a guest and uh, every, every time you walk in there you get that feeling and uh, certainly I miss it. I think everybody misses it. Now you see a lot of fighters especially over the last year, King Mo, Rampage Jackson, going into the world of pro wrestling. Would you be open to doing more pro wrestling bouts? Well I, I did a lot of pro wrestling over in Japan and uh, that was fantastic. It's a, it's a heck of a challenge. It's a lot harder than most people think. I loved it. Um, I think here in the United States, it's it's for the younger guys, so it might have passed my time on that. But I think that would have been that have been fantastic to do that a few years back. Uh, we'll see, maybe to do a couple cameos or something. But uh, I, I got a ton of respect for pro wrestling, and if I could, I sure would. Well, we hope to see you in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Definitely been on a roll in Japan. Now, I understand you stole the show on the Ultimate Fighter this season with BJ Penn and Frankie Edgar as an assistant coach for BJ Penn. What was your experience like on Tough? Other than actually competing and fighting, I can't, I can't say enough about it. That was uh, six weeks of, uh, it, it, it went too fast. I loved every minute and every day of it. I walked back in the gym and, and started, you know, helping train these fighters and uh, I, I felt right at home and uh, you, you fell in love with all the guys and I look forward to seeing how they turn out in, in the future but just an overall great experience and I, I would love to do something like that again. It was 
just amazing. I, I, I miss it already. I miss all the guys. B.J. Penn's awesome. I, I'm thankful that uh, he had enough uh, confidence in me to come in there and be his wrestling coach. So it, it was neat. It's awesome hearing. Does it give you new respect for a lot of the competitors, too? Because they are there six weeks. I mean, they are isolated. I think they're a little less isolated than they used to be. But, I mean, still, six weeks, close quarters, fighting for one dream. I mean, that's got to be mentally wearing on you. Oh, they're, they're still isolated. And, uh, but, but none of them were complaining because uh, they know this was their opportunity and, and, and really uh, it, it gives you a chance to get away from all the distractions that you have back home. And, and that's the best way, that's the best situation to train in. And uh, they, they had, you know, you, you can order any, any food you want every day. So that was a beautiful thing. The fridge was full all the time and uh, they ate well, trained hard. Nice house too. <laughs> nice house. Uh, a lot of, they just had a lot of respect, and you know, just looking forward to seeing the show. I don't think I stole the show. I don't know what you're talking about. Where can fans find you online? Um, you can Facebook me. You know, Mark Coleman. Send me an inbox because my my uh, I'm pretty full. But uh, you send me an inbox, I'll reply and uh, I'll add you to my list. No Twitter yet? Twitter, I got one, but I really. Uh, don't use it enough, and I'm not. I'm not even sure what it is. I wish I had it for you. I apologize, but I'm, I'm gonna get working on that pretty soon here. But uh, uh, M Coleman at HammerHouseMMA.com. That's my email. If somebody wants to shoot me an email, and we'll, we'll get back with you. Awesome, and hopefully by next year you'll you'll be on Twitter. We'll be tweeting each other back and forth. Just remember to follow me, please. Sounds good. You follow me.